again, um, pupils and parents of Penrail. Uh, this video is supposed to go with another one that was on the website as well. Um, the last one was about setting up hub email accounts, but on mobile devices. So that can help the pupils, saving them always having to switch on their, you know, their computer, their laptop or whatever device they've got. They can check their emails on their phones. Parents can also do that as well to help monitor what's going on with schoolwork. And on top of that, because those email accounts might or hopefully will receive Google Classroom updates and notifications, then it's a good idea to do this as well. So use the Google Classroom app. And within that, you can control email notifications. We don't want parents to take over the learning at all. We don't want them to be the ones messaging the, 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 the teachers or anything like that. We want the pupils still to be responsible, uh, but obviously the parents keeping an eye on that kind of thing, and then they can understand and see what's going on a little bit better, okay? So, um, we just have a little look here and start off with uh, a Samsung Android phone and go into the Play Store, search for Classroom and Google Classroom using that little icon came up for me. There it is, right? So you know you're getting the right one. And then I tapped on Install. And after it had installed and I opened it, this is what the app came up like. So I tapped on Get Started. And what you need to know, think back to is your hubcumry.net email address that the pupils, uh, um, the children have got at home and the password. I don't think the password's actually needed, but it's that hubcumry email address that's important there again, because it's an Office 365 account. It's um, a hub username and password, but also thanks to the Welsh Government now, it's a Google Classroom password, uh, email address, and so on as well, okay? So it's an account for that as well. So you need to put that in, no need for any capital letters, but at hubcumry.net at the end, I just blanked out what would have been in there, but you need to put the first part of the email address in. And then I tapped on next, and I was a little bit worried because at first it just said there was nothing in there, and I thought, oh, here we go again. We're gonna end up on the wrong Google account and it's not going to show. But just a couple of moments later, it refreshed and then all the classes came through. So just be patient and those should come through correctly and you'll see the exact classes that the pupils should be in. Um, there are still some subjects in the school where pupils need to click the plus sign here and use the class codes that are on the school website. If you're only just joining into this uh, Google Classroom remote learning, okay? But a, a lot of other teachers are automatically joining pupils to the right classes. So when you come in, you'll be in the right class there, okay? Um, you can use the little three dots in the corner just to refresh. If you want to, you think something hasn't come up and it should come up any moment now. All right, so after refreshing, uh, I've just gone over to the top left-hand menu and let me just show you again. So that three lines there, okay? And we're into the notifications now, which is really useful to use. So if you tap on notifications, now it again needs to refresh a little bit. So just be patient with it before they come up and you get a list of your notifications. Mine is from a teacher's point of view. So you can just see that I've scheduled assignments and different things for year seven, year eight have gone on and I'm being told about those. But I also get notifications that pupils are sending me messages as well about work that they're struggling with and any advice they need. So I often use the Google Classroom app to reply to pupils if I can't get quickly to a computer, okay? So it's really useful to look into those notifications. It does show you this little red dot as well if you've got any new ones that have arrived. I'm just gonna go back to that menu there again now. Oh, actually I forgot. You can check which ones have been unread. Uh, or just see all of them. You've also got the three dots in the top corner where you can refresh the list again, right? But I'm gonna go back over to the, the burger menu as we call it in the top left. And if you scroll down inside that menu and go to settings, you can gain more control over how many Google Classroom notifications come to the pupils' hub email accounts. So if parents have set up hub emails and this, and it's overloading you with too many notifications, you can sort it out a little bit. So you go to settings and uh, you can switch off the email notifications altogether if you wanted to, okay? But if you choose class notifications, you can see which classes are switched on and which ones are switched off. 
Um, totally up to you with that. It kind of removes the point of using the app a little bit if you switch them all off, but you can switch them on and off if you want to. I'm just going to go back here and device notifications gives you a little bit more detail into which things you get notified about. So uh, comments that you've done, private comments and so on. I leave you to work that out and have a little search through, okay? So I'm just going to go back again, back again on settings, and then I'm back here to the main settings menu, okay? You've also got these two little things up here just to let you know which Google accounts you're in. Because if you've got more than one Google account on your home device, it can get a little bit confusing. So you can see I've blanked out some stuff here, but I've got a couple of Gmail accounts and they can get confusing. But hopefully it'll always go back to your Hub Cymru account that's in that little menu up the top. So here we are. We can see the classes that I'm in. So what I did was I went up to the burger menu there and went to classes instead. And I'm just going to show you what the year seven class would look like. So I'm going to tap on that one and you can see what's been added recently. This is the stream area. It's the same as what you can see if you use the full website. You can see classwork as well. This is a teacher's view. So um, pupils might get something like grades or your work instead of people. I can see all the people that are part of the class. So if I go over to classwork, oh, wait there, here we go. What's new in classroom? Right, we're not using Hangouts, really. We're not doing sort of video teaching live lessons. So you can just dismiss that, okay? And in the classwork area, you can see different categories and you can tap on one of those as a pupil or a parent. And you can see the exact same assignment and the resources. And you can look at those through the app, the same as you would do if you were on a full keyboard, computer, laptop, bigger device. It's easier to complete the work if you're on a bigger device rather than just a mobile phone but you can still do the videos you can have two devices going at once if you want okay so good luck with that uh using the email app or any email app is a really good thing to do but along with using the google classroom app as well okay